Hey guys, Stealth here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get to 10,000 meters because a lot of people can't really get to Ghost Town in any way. You don't need any Robux for this trick. All you need is to play the game, okay? And you need zero Robux, so we're not going to be using anything. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy, so let's go. First thing we're going to be doing is selecting the mode you want to play. Now I'm going to be doing a tutorial in Desert because, like, that's something most people like to play with, so... Yeah, but you can apply this to planes too. I mean, I already made a planes gun, so it's in the top right corner. So what you guys want to do is actually spawn over here. You don't want to go over at the front to build a car. Make sure you never take the car. The car is literally the worst. It goes the slowest. And it's just the worst. So what you want to take is actually the van. It's called Zero Robux. It's a star vehicle and goes faster. So, you know, we're just going to use that. We will have to place this. And we will have to place this right here. And what we want to do is get the wheels, which should be right here. So I don't like taking these monster wheels here because they're like really risky and flip pretty easily. I mean, you can unflip it, but we need to save as much time as possible if we want to get to Ghost Town. So you know, and we'll just take this. I want to build it like that. If you want to attach all the wheels. Make sure you always have your doors. Most people say you don't need doors, but that is completely BS, bro. Like you do need doors to survive sandstorms and stuff. So what you want to do is open this and put in all the fuel. Make sure you put all of it in, okay? I'm ta I'm talking about even 0 0.1 liters. And there we go. So now we have 0 liters in there, I'm pretty sure. Make sure this is always closed. You have to click E, or if you're in mobile, just tap it. Now what you want to do right here is get the engine. Like, you don't need the RV and stuff for this run, because this is completely free, okay? The RV is free, but it's like, you have to do a little bit of stuff to get it. So I'm just going to be showing you guys, like, the easiest way. So what we want to do now, place the radiator, place this thing at the front. Now we want to take one of these, place it right here. And now we want to take some food, so we'll take this banana right here. And have that right there and we all take this apple so i'll just take this apple and place it inside but now now we get the burger and garlic so burger right here like we want to take every cent of food all right make sure you always have the garlic in case you find like a church then we just want to close that then get in and make sure this is closed and you put the handbrake down, side the engine, and get on your way. Look, the van has a lot more space, and it's just, it's honestly just better than the car, man. The car gets stuck at like 80 kilometers an hour, while the van can go up to 160 pretty easily. So you just want to start going a little bit faster. You don't want to stop until like 800 meters in this because everything is useless until 800 meters, and then you can start stopping. Why like you can start stopping like about now, but yeah, I just want to make sure nothing is trash really before you actually like stop. So we're at 800, we can stop a building sound, we found nothing. And look at that, that's a answer event. Is that a... Wait, I feel like we might have just found a really, really good trailer. Oh yeah, that is a really good trailer. Yep, we'll just stop. And we'll attach this. Yo, okay, what we need to do is place wheels in here. And then we can start moving it around. So we'll just wait until the sandstorm goes away because I can't really see a lot. It doesn't seem to stop yet. So if I just get in here, you know, and then I can just sit down. How do I even sit down? I can't sit down. I guess I have to have wheels in. And then the windows are really blurry. So I'll just get out and sit in the van. Honestly, I'm just going to keep driving. I feel like we're having an issue because uh, I can't move. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this. And we're gonna attach this as a car. It still doesn't work. So what we have to do, sadly, is leave this at 11,026 meters. And we're gonna come back to get it because that's actually a really, really rare trailer. And we don't need a trailer because the van is actually too big, but we're gonna come back for that and just take that. More water. We need more water and a little bit more oil. That looks like, oh no, that's a bad place. Why you guys don't want to stop here is like, I'm, I'm just going to show you. Make sure you never stop at this place, guys. So if you go inside this place, you can see a, a, like a lot of mutants. And look at that, there's basically nothing. Like literally, there's zero things in there, okay? 
So you guys never want to stop at that place. Now we're going to keep going. I haven't found anything good yet. Please be like a double garage or something. That's going to pay off like a lot. I don't see anything far yet. Um, that's a gambling machine. And I feel like this run might be a fail. Because our fuel is actually like not even close to being finished. But that's actually pretty good. I mean, you know, I don't mind that. I thought that was something, but that's just a sign. And we're about to pass it right here. Currently going like 100. Yeah, 120. Okay, guys, that's a shop. But mostly these places are basically useless. Because it's like, it has like overpriced stuff in here. So there's some fuel. There's this. There's a baguette. There's a, there's this thing. Can't find anything useful here except this rocket launcher, which is like, only has two in it. It's 175. I don't feel like I need to buy this. And that's 50 pounds. I need to check how much gas I have in there. It's 8.5 liters. That is why I recommend the van. We only spent 0.5 liters. We'll check up on the water. 2.1, that's good. And the engine's doing pretty well. So we just want to keep going because we don't buy anything. And I feel like we won't return to 1.1 kilometers to get that camper back because it's just going to be pretty much a waste. So, you know, why should we even go back now? Oh yeah, that's a gas station. And just spawn its mutants. You guys never want to do this. There we go. I'm just currently being really lucky. So what we want to do now, pretty much just go here. And then I need to get on top of this thing. And now, let me see if I... And I'll get this AK. Now, you might have an AK from like your previous runs. I'll just kill him right there and we'll put back the AK and we'll close that so we have the radiator that is literally stuck with the barrel and that's messed up that's a new engine that's, well, that has 1.3 liters of oil that has 7 liters of gas we need to put in a little bit of gas but water is the most like wanted resource right now and I'm gonna eat some food from uh, the van now and we should be easily able to get to uh, uh, 10k. Oh my god. Let me just move a little bit. How much is that? 1.2 liters. It has nothing now. That one's just lost. How much does that have? 1.2 liters. We don't want oil right now, but like fuel. But still, we're gonna take it if there is available. Cause you know, resources are really valuable. He's not even dead yet. I will place this thing in front of our car. So when we hit mutants, they actually die. And this saves us a bunch of time. I'll have this empty thing like right there. Now get in, eat the burger, eat the banana, eat the apple. Check if there's anything useful that's that. Uh, Nothing really useful here. Uh, there's a couple bottle caps that I can take. Is that blue ball. Now what we'll do... So it is pretty dark. Let me try to turn on the headlights. I don't really like turning on the headlights because like the light is like a little glitchy and that just causes like a headache. So I'll just drive like this, you know. But I suggest trying out with like headlights and seeing if they're good for you, like this. You know, like the thing where it just goes back and stuff. I don't like that. For sure, I'll do it for this vid. Oh, it's the same thing again. Look at that, that does like a couple of like, just pretty much really use the stuff. And we'll just get back to the road and keep driving. I feel like something is stuck behind our car that's like slowing us a little bit down. Honestly, from now, I will just speed run to all the way to 5k. I mean, I do need a little bit of water, so I'm gonna keep stopping in search of water. Might be a good one. Yep, this place. Oh my god, that jump scared me. Okay, what we need to do now, is there a dynamite? Yeah, there is. But I don't want to use it because I feel like it might be too risky. So I'm going to place it right there. 
just have that right there. Try to get as far as possible. And he should be dead, yep. So we have some oil, that's great news. And we have some oil and gas mixture. But that's a good engine, I wish if we could take that. Man, I literally can't like get this. Like, let me get this guy away, like a little bit over here, this engine over here. Finally, I can have my AK. So he's dead. What we'll place to say? Pack our backpack, and we'll take the oil because that's something we need. So we'll have that like attached, and if we run out of it, then we'll just you know. And we have this pistol. I feel like I can use this pistol now. Make sure you always take these weapons. And there's some chocolate and stuff down here. There's these like ball caps. Yep, there's some chocolate, so I'll just eat the chocolate. And we're gonna be back on our way. I mean, we can check that place out. But I'm guessing it's 99% useless. Yeah, no, just as I thought. So now, well, now what we wanna do is continue on our journey. Just not get killed, you know? 3.8 liters of oil, we literally did not lose any. We're doing pretty well right now, we want to keep that on. It's so actually going as fast as possible. And no, we just died. Alright, yup, GG's. And basically, if you follow all my tips and get through a uh, asteroid shower, then you can easily make it all the way to 10k, you know?